This is not something that I invented myself. Cliff Barton used a regular Big Muff way before Electromonics even considered to do a bass version, which is the exact same pedal with an added blend knob. And keep in mind this blend knob because it's one of the key features of this video. <laughs> and Holm since day one of Mew's career. Hi Fioi, welcome back to the channel, my name is Gianluca and let's start by saying that you can and should use guitar pedal for your bass tones for three simple reasons. First of all, you can do whatever the fuck you want in music. There are no rules, only general guidelines. Second, they are way more cheaper and way more available. Do a quick comparison between the average bass distortion, let's say, and the average guitar distortion. And third, they are not so different from each other. But let me explain. The only major difference between a guitar and a bass pedal is the low end response and management. Because guitar and bass work in different frequency range. And I hope this is not brand new information for you. Most of them are just the same exact circuit with an added blend knob. Why a blend knob? Let's take the case of distorting a bass, if you want to distort it. The general rule is that you need, quote unquote need, for the same exact principle of you can do whatever the fuck you want in music, to blend it with a clean slash DI tone for a better low-end response and management. As an example, let's take a look at this overdrive. This is my Michelangelo overdrive by Doffix. Thanks Doffix for giving me this pedal. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just fucking love the company, okay? With this blend knob right here in the middle, I hope that you can see it, I can decide how much signal will be affected, let's say from 0% to 100%. So this will mimic that process perfectly. Let's put it to the test really, really quickly. But what if you don't have that mix or blend knob? Here I have a quick solution for you. Every player nowadays has at least a multi effects processor or a modeler, whatever you have, with an added FX loop. This is my address FX unit. The only cool feature about it is that FX loop. And by choosing on my menu FX loop, this now is a virtual, let's say, blend knob. Because I can decide how much signal will be going through that FX loop. 0%, no signal, 100%, all the signal. Let's put it to the test really quickly. But you can go even straight without all this setup. There's something to keep in mind, and I'm talking more to the guitar player watching this video that maybe record or produce a tone with bass, like myself. I'm originally a guitar player, I play bass on stage because I can get more gig as a bass player. Pay attention to the low end. Most guitar pedals tend to cut that low end or sometimes even overload it. So if you start to sound too small or too big, back it off with what you're using or even change pedal. But this is more of a drive, distortion and fast pedal issue. When we talk about modulation like chorus, flanger or phases, they tend to work perfectly fine, even because most of them already has a mix or a blend knob on that, okay? Let's take a quick listen to a chorus pedal because it's the only modulation pedal that I have in the studio and I'm not, not happy about it.
but why all this mental wank as we like to call in mental fap as we like to call here in Italy because I hate those purist fuckers that play in a tribal band or a cover band with many different songs from many different genera and they only use one sound it is just not possible okay no 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 what I love to hear is when musicians craft the perfect sound for serving the song which is the only thing that we musicians should do this define, in my opinion, a lazy ass musician to a highly skilled one. And I'm not talking about the difference between an amateur and a pro. This can be applied to both parts. Now let me show you three examples of guitar pedal that you might want to try. This is my Onipot Fuzz. It's a clone of a Bigma, so a pretty standard type of guitar pedal. I used it for the two intro clip in the beginning. Personally, I use it for my progressive metal stuff, but the effects of fuzz in general, I use it to emulate synth bass when I play bass with my hip hop and rap band. If you wanna explore that concept, by the way, there's a video somewhere up here where I teach you really quickly and really easily how to turn your electric bass into a synth kind of bass. a must. Boss DS1, I think you know it, more than 10 million units, everybody used it, $50 used, you can find it even in grocery stores sometimes, and I'm not joking, for real, it's a must, try it. Try. Last but not least, Overdrive. By the way, if you're a guitar player watching this video, watch the demo of this one because it's really interesting. It's not the same old PS9 clone, that type, that type of stuff, okay? Overdrive in general can give you a wide range of saturation from that 70, 60 type of old tape uh, recording sound. Maybe you play a lot of that stuff, it's a thing, no, I don't know, try it. But even bone crashing distortion at times, maybe it's your thing, maybe not. I don't know, I don't care, the key thing here is to try. Let's call it a day if you are. Again, my name is Luca. I'm a guitar player, singer, and songwriter from Italy, and every week I explore sound and boundaries of music here on YouTube. I hope that this video will be really helpful to you for two simple reasons. Maybe you want to start to gig more and to work more as a musician. Trust me, having the perfect sound at the perfect time guarantees you more gig, live, and even studio. Or for your personal stuff, you feel like you are in a rut. Trust me. Changing something to your sound changes the way that you play. That's why I play a lot of different instruments and I always try to, not that I'm the best one, but I always try to make things a little bit more interesting. Maybe an effects can lead you to new path and realm of music. By the way, if you really love this kind of stuff, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel, we have no excuse. Want to support the channel even more? There's a PayPal link for donation, but a like, a share and a comment is Amazing too, but money is better. And until next time, remember, you're lucky, my man.